Hello YouTube, welcome to the channel, The Crew Is. I am The Crew Is, and uh, today I'm going to be showing you how to install Minecraft on Ubuntu Linux. This is Ubuntu Linux for Chromebooks, so this is how to install it on a Chromebook running Ubuntu. Only running Ubuntu and not running original Chrome OS. So, first we're going to start out, once you get Ubuntu installed, there's going to be a link, to, uh, links, a link in the description for the channel that has a tutorial on how to do it because I do not want to reflash my Chromebook so let's start out with uh, Ubuntu Software Center so once you're done it should give you all of this except Skype and uh, Bandicam uh, I got Bandicam to run on here using uh, a Wine program loader and I'll show you how to install that later so right now let's go to and search up Java JDK now most people think you have to install you have to install Java 7 runtime. Don't install 7 runtime. You can do it if you want. I'm just saying it won't work. My Minecraft did not work until I installed Java 6 runtime. Install Java 6 runtime. J if it doesn't work with Java 6, install Java 7. I don't know if you need both, but it only worked with Java 6 when I had it. So, um, so you're just going to go over here and install. Since I already have it installed, I'm not going to install it again. Okay. So once you have Java JDK installed, you're going to go to the minecraft.net official website and uh, type in minecraft.net slash download. And then you're going to go here. And uh, for most people on the website, it, by default, it's going to show the Windows one. So just go ahead and click show all platforms. I'm not going to because I have it to default to show for Linux. And you're going to download the jar. And this is the code for launching it. I had a problem with this code and didn't work for Chromebook. I don't know why. Message has been Chromebook. So, um, so once you're on there, you place this on your desktop or wherever you want to place it. I placed it on my desktop for more comfortable ways, reasons, and I'll show you that after I show you why how it launches. You're gonna go over here and open with, and uh, by default, yours will not say open with Java 6 runtime. It will say oh under other application or archive mounter or text editor and uh, you might as well just go ahead and go find Java 6 runtime and what's really cool about this is that it doesn't make you find the program folder it just makes you find the program so uh, go ahead and click Java 6 runtime now by default Minecraft will run at as least memory possible because you know Minecraft is set to do that no matter what platform so uh, I got my account I'm gonna log in now Voila, Minecraft is running on a Chromebook. Uh, running Ubuntu, modified. Now, I didn't void the the computer. I didn't void it. Uh, that's say that's what it means. I didn't open it and install more RAM. Because that would void my one-year warranty. If you would like to go ahead and void your one-year warranty, you can probably find a tutorial on how to install RAM. Or, it's pretty easy. Once you find the, the DDR3 slot, you can just place it in. So, um, the, it might lag because I am running Bandicam at the same time, but, uh, I'm running it pretty good right now. So, there we go. And, uh, I am in creative, and I know I'm in flatland, and it's gonna, you gotta let it load a little bit, because Chromebooks aren't optimized for this. Okay, so let me just lower my settings a little bit because it is being really bad. Okay, so it would normally run really great with normal and fancy. I'm running at 37 FPS, 25 FPS, you know, ranges from 20 to 40 FPS. Sometimes I got, you know, 57 FPS is running normal tiny. You could easily get like 50 FPS if you don't record. But as you can see, my Chromebook is running pretty fast, and it's probably because it's a flat map, but it is running it, and it runs it really well. So, um, if you would like to see how to make an official launcher, like without having the little penguin, the Java JDK penguin on there, you might as well just uh, make this. This is uh, pretty much like having an EXE on your desktop, except this isn't an EXE. Now what you need to do is, let's make a brand new document. 
autopsy document. And then let's name it whatever. You know, you can name it whatever, but I'm going to name it Minecraft 1.5. And, uh, you got it. It's Minecraft 1.5. And uh, I have, I do have 1.6 beta, and it does run. And uh, I really don't have the code, so let me just open this real quick. And this, if you place it on the desktop, you can place it wherever you want. But you can change this to whatever you want. You can place it wherever you want and where it is. So let's, I'm gonna post it. I'm gonna place it in downloads. So let's. Uh, Let's copy this and move it to So let's make sure we got the right location home slash user slash downloads So I'm gonna paste it here And uh, you just put that down right there So home user downloads minecraft.jar Now let's save this Now let's uh this is my desktop one so let's copy this I'm not gonna save because I don't want to so let's put it in here as you can see it opened a different one this is the default but since I do have wine it does open notepad like a desktop and it won't let me do that okay let's uh, open this with GE edit downloads and uh, let's copy this and let's paste it in here let's save this one let's close this out I'm not gonna save it close this out and uh, before you double click or try to run you have to go to properties and make file executable so you go to permissions you have to go to properties then permissions then you, you have to click execute you just click allow executing files this program so just close it out and right when you double click it it should say do you want to run minecraft 1.5 and display its contents you c now have the choice of running a terminal displaying the note file or running it as minecraft so just click run and it'll run the minecraft launcher frame uh, there it is see shows the launcher frame and uh, since I did, you can add as much RAM as you want. But since I do have a Chromebook, I only have a limit of two gigabytes of RAM. So my maximum RAM output is one gigabyte. I dedicated that much RAM to Minecraft. So let's go now. And there goes Mojang. And uh, for all you Minecraft modders out there, people who like to use too many items and Optifine. I suggest Optifine because um, if you really want a ton of FPS out of this computer, you can have it. So um, since you guys, since I showed you a flat layer, I'll show you a survival world. And uh, let's not let's not do all that. A lot of cheats off, bonus just off. So let's just start it. Let it load the world. Um, if you want to host a server on here. It's basically the same thing I'm showing you for how to do Minecraft, except it's got to just do the server jar and run it instead. And you can run Bucket on here. Now on the Bucket page, it does show you how to run Bucket. But um, I run my server off of uh, another computer, a desktop, a Windows desktop. So um, I spawned in the worst biome ever, <laughs> uh, jungle biome. So jungle biomes are relatively laggy for every computer, no matter what, unless you have like a eight core desktop so uh, I'm gonna let it load a little bit more um, you might see that's lagging a bit or a lot my people people might say but uh, the reason for this is I'm getting 10 FPS the reason for this is that I'm running Bandicam at the same time 20 FPS 11 FPS if I wasn't running Bandicam I'd probably get a maximum output of 35 FPS right now and uh, as you can see it's probably it's loading more chunks now it's starting to get a little better and uh, something really cool about uh, Optifine is that 
you can put lazy chunk loading on. Lazy chunk loading can save can can get you a lot of FPS. It can cost like a 10% FPS boost. And uh, don't load far, especially on a Chromebook. That's not a great idea. <laughs> don't change any of these settings, or else it will make it slower. So um, let's put chunk loading on uh, not multi car. This is only two cores. Put it on default, and uh, that should boost it a little bit. I should I shouldn't have put it on smooth. Now you can run this without having Optifine, just put it on uh, normal settings. Or you can run Fancy if you want. Fancy will cause a lot of lag now because I'm running Bandicam. But uh, it can run it and it can run it with a good FPS rate. Just not right now. Because in my other video I showed you, I was recording with my Galaxy Note. And I uh, showed you that it was running 30 to 35 FPS on max settings. and uh, But on here it's because of, op of Bandicam. Um, it's not running very well so yeah this is pretty cool how you can do this and it's pretty cool how you can run Minecraft on a Chromebook I thought you know it's a $200 computer it's pretty cheap it's something for me right now until I get a better computer but the fact that it can run Minecraft without a doubt at a good FPS rate is pretty awesome and it only costs $200 which is a total plus uh, the Samsung Chromebook I am sure sure you can't run this on a Samsung Chromebook, mostly because it is an ARM device, ARM V6 processor. The processor is faster, but that doesn't mean it's better. This is an Intel 1.1 dual core. The ARM is just, it's an ARM processor. It's basically the same processor my Samsung Galaxy has. So, uh, until then, I'll show you the next video. On My next video is going to be on how to install Wine and how to get Windows programs running on a Chromebook and uh, on Ubuntu. So, subscribe, comment, like, tell me what would you like to see on my channel. I'm going to start a Let's Play soon on Minecraft Xbox 6 Edition. So, tell me what you'd like to see in my Let's Plays. Tell me what you'd like to see on my channel. Tell me what you want next on this videos. And, uh, until then, see ya. This is the Cruise.